It is about uh, 9.30 on Saturday morning, the 26th. Skip. This is was Ron's idea, so we'll call him Skip. This is a uh, Here we go. Skip, Skippy, and Skipper. Yeah. Uh, let's take the fenders and sound to our Got this baby humming, coming around here to the coop, the good ship shenanigan. We've got all the gear on board, we've finally got our sail board, everybody's in the cockpit having a good time. We're headed for Norman Island now, the bite, just north of the bite. Your brain? <laughs> Strapped around your neck like that. I hate that. Here he goes. Into the drink. It's on again. No, I don't know. Just unless I just hit it or something. What was it, Ron? A dive? It was a religious experience. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's crazy. Ron and Mike have out. just been out diving the Rhone, a ship that sunk in 18... What was it? 67. 1867. Really Off that side, point yeah. right out there. Is that wrong? Hmm? <laughs> okay, this is a take. Now, we're going to get an interview with Jacques Shannon, who has just recently returned... Just having returned the from the RMS Rhone. Tell us about it, Mr. Shannon. What did you see well, down there? It's hell of a lot of fish. What's all, all that noise behind it? Yes. Another little creature. Yes. Like a rolled over. Saw a spiny back Harold angelfish. Oh, great, great. Those are rare, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very rare. And a lot of other good ones. Any barracudas nibbling? Not to mention some beauty, <laughs> beautiful little dogfish. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> well, that was just fantastic. What can I say? Did you see any mermaids? Uh, no, no mermaids. No mermaids? Only a sharks? RB. <laughs> <laughs> a small whale. <laughs> Sperm whale. <laughs> Here's the rest of the crew today. Kick back. Hey. Wave at the crowd. Here we go. Okay. 
I like it roll. It will roll. If it's I, if been a I, tough I, day out here, folks. Okay, this is tough. Okay. Oh, Somebody has to do it, though. Here's Arlene today. She's having a tough day at the, at the shop today. Say hi to uh, somebody you know back to shop. I don't even want to think about it. Huh? Say hi, Jimmy Caputo. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. here momentarily as soon as Jacques gets his booties off. <laughs> and we'll have some painkillers over there. Painkillers at Dick's Bay tonight. Painkillers. Yes. It's hard to get stressed out here, folks. This has got to be one of the most beautiful, beautiful spots in this earth. My tongue is tied. It's been a, a tough day. We've been drive, diving the road today. Just a gorgeous boat. This is a 50-foot Gulf Star. You've probably heard this already. we got to tell you again. There's a couple of the crew up there. We're on a, on a mooring. Panning down, here's the sailboard. Maryland's at the wheel. Sun is beating down. It's got to be about 90, 95 degrees. A little breeze. We're going to get our air tanks filled here. Head back across the Sir Francis Drake Channel again. Back to Cooper Island. We have the dog in the water. It's Monday. This is a 360-degree view that we have. We had this morning. There's shenanigans again. Our vessel. Look at our red Tortola Island. Put in the foreground. We're starting day four. Arlene's in the kitchen again, preparing pancakes. It's been great. Uh, let's see what else. I, I think I saw grapefruit on the table. And Orange juice in the pot. Marilyn is her aide, standing in the background as her aide. The plates are out, the milk is out. This is Jake Perky. Okay, hello there. Hi. Welcome up above. How is it up above? It's the Storm Center. It's just fine. We're looking toward a much improved day, but the blood's running to my head. <laughs> sleep last night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, sleep with Luke. <laughs> not on your life. Blackmail. Uh-oh. I need a Arlene's going to sell her story to Playboy for $100,000 after this. <laughs> <laughs> I slept with a buzz song. <laughs> We had a kind of a rough night last night. The winds were howling up to 35, maybe 40 knots at times. Oh, raining off, off and on. All the hatches are, are leaking and it's wetter than hell in here. God, look at that white sand and the water. You can see the rocks on the bottom. It's so clear up here. Reef out there. This is what they call paradise. Look out this way. Come, come into the bar. We have another painkiller. Yeah, I need a diet coach. Diet coach. What does this help yourself, Bar Ron, or did you take over the island? I like a beer. You want a beer? Yeah, please. I'm gonna have this one. I'm gonna have a coke. Yep. Wait, stay there, Luke and Ron. Luke, back up a little bit. Luke and Ron have now taken over the private bar of Mr. Schrader here on, uh, what's it, something K? Key? Marina Key. Marina Key. I can't remember that. Oh, Mansion Eel. Must be mentioned as it is found so frequently along the beaches. The Mansion Eel tree has a small green apple, so it smells a bit like a crab apple, but you must beware. It's the proverbial poison apple. It can be deadly. Deadly. Green. It's not red. 
Oh, really? The Indians used it on their spears to kill our enemies. Club. We got a clear day. We're headed for the bass at Virgin Gorda. And we decided to have breakfast underway. Here's uh, my darling young wife, Arlene. The one that keeps me jumping. Say hello to the camera, Arlene. There's our skipper, skipper RB, and his mates, and Luker. Say hello to the camera, Luker. We're having. Uh, Raisin bran, mine's getting soaked. Corn flakes. Frosted flakes. Frosted flakes. And Ron's having his in a big box. For some reason, the skipper gets a big box for his cereal. We have to eat out of these little dainty dishes. Well, that's the way it is out here in the Mediterranean Caribbean. We're looking over at Leverick Bay. I'd like to point out that I am paying attention and I know where we are by Little Dicks. Where are we, Little Eddie May? <laughs> by Little Dicks over here. Little Dicks Bay. Yacht Club. Okay. Why are you filming my stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Which way are we headed? <laughs> I make it funny. Just happy to be here. <laughs> Trust me. I do. What's this? How about getting up early? Get my head. <laughs> well, second thought, don't get my head. What's the watch for? Oh, don't tell me you're charting us another course for today. I thought we were going to kick back. Uh, Say Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. What was the party? There's ferry services though. Ferry? Saw that. From here to yeah, from here to different islands. Yeah, you get on a ferry and be there in like 45 minutes. Fast food. King Garden Bay. That's okay, that's when to learn. Half the battle's just standing on the damn thing. Yeah, I about killed myself because I never did get up. I'd get up and I, and I could stand on it and then I'd start to pull a sail up and the minute the water come out and the wind would catch it, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Championships okay, here fantastic. in the British Virgin Islands. Mike Shannon, you all know him from the old days. A little bit on the gray side now, but a master of all, a master of the yeah. surfboard. Really one of the pioneers yeah. of this day. Uh. You'll notice <laughs> how deftly he handles this big 14 square foot sail in the high brisk winds, probably running about 20, 22 knots today. <laughs> Tuning up again for the 1987 Masters here in Cane Garden Bay, British Virgin Islands. He's a little unstable, not... Going to backwind that sail in a second. <laughs> not the Mike Shannon of old, but still one of the Masters of there his time. Now, trim! He's trimming. You notice the technique that he uses on this boom? And 
A lot of footwork. A lot of footwork <laughs> right there, folks. Notice how he bailed out. It looked common to most of you, but this is part of his technique. Here's 1987 some, finals here on BVI. He's got, basic got, form. got, got some. Yeah, really Yo! He's coming up again. He's on the board. He's standing up now. Standing up. He's starting to pull the sail up. There's a very exciting moment. A little go, tension. Don't, you don't can feel the tension. You can cut the tension don't with a knife. The wishbone. <laughs> Typical tourists walking down the beach with their cameras on their shoulder. There's the Shannon family approaching us. Mike and Arlene, shipmate. You probably get you a good deal on the whole house up here. Oh, I'd love it. <laughs> The famous Stanley's where we ate dinner last night. Yeah, swing. Get on it. Just a turn. It's the most commercialized place that we've been so far. Here we are, Sofer's Hole, the west end of Tortola. Boat yard, some very colorful buildings over here by the uh, Yacht Harbor. As we wind up, beautiful week, the Virgin Islands. It's been a wonderful week. Uh, it's been a little bit too short, unfortunately, as always, on our last day. Um, I think the highlight of the trip was the windsurfing and getting lost. I think that would have been, definitely been the highlight. The low light of the trip, there was no low light. Excellent. It was a wonderful Excellent. trip with good friends and good drinks. And probably good drinks because the people, they were, good drinks made the people seem like good friends. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of mellows everything yeah. over. How, how do you like me? Arlene, how about you? you what like do you think about the trip? Super time. Sloppy drunk. Do it again. <laughs> do it again? Yep. Right now? Anytime. Right now. And the pina coladas at Stanley's are wonderful. And we still haven't hit the uh, the barge over here for some painkillers. Yeah, I've been there. I could skip the pain. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love them. Yeah. I, I don't feel like. I'm with Ronnie, Ron. Ryan. <coughs> wonderful time. Excuse me, camera. Again. Excellent, Mr. Shannon. Oh, I can't uh, film me. You're right. Smack dab. <laughs> this is a good trip. Is this a good trip? I was a little disappointed and back to the. Uh, Look at my I didn't catch a single fish. I grabbed a lot of them and they all just like that, like that. They're they gone. Other than that, it was good. I caught some crunch, but no fish. Want to know my opinion? A few parting comments here, Mike. A few parting comments. I'm disappointed that we didn't get to try out that mirror down there in that fancy you did. cabin's this cabin. You did. This excellent drinks. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is this tonight, the Greyhound? That's kind of a blue Greyhound there. <laughs> Let's okay. give a toast to Ron's first night. Mm -hmm. And to Mike. Yeah. And to Mike. Have fun. The margaritas. Like for me. They were very, very good. We have a little bit of tequila left, but not These much. These are coming close, but they're not as good as the first night. <laughs> no, we ran out of juice, yeah. Jug, we can't go back. I'm not going to pack it back in with any tequila. Hello. And then when they're right. fixing hors d'oeuvres. Oh, what are they? These are deals that you run into them, they push you. Yeah. What is it? What kind of hors d'oeuvres? Hot dogs and barbecue sauce. Oh, I love them. Are you going to come all up in little slices? Or are you just going to? Little pieces? Mm. The only thing I would, I would change is I would like to stay somewhere a little longer rather than move every day. Okay, but how did you like the Virgin Islands? Beautiful. And you like this being on a sailboat? Yes. For one week? Or one of those trawlers would be fun. <laughs> How'd you like your crewmates? Well, a couple of them were quite...